Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And it is Thursday today, it's the, also the first uh, update of 2018. We are now in, uh, yes, uh, I am in uh, the laggy survival world right now. Uh, that's because it's got to do with the update today. Uh, we have a couple of new items in the game. We have, as you can see on my hotbar, we have solar panels, which uh, we'll get to in a moment here. And we also have... Uh, we have water pumps, which is going to be automated water collection, which is really good. I tried uh, going into my creative world and I was going to load it up and I realized, mm, I remembered, I apologize, it's early in the morning for me, but I remembered that uh, I couldn't open up inventories in, uh, in creative. Yeah, she forgot what I had uh, over here. And looks like I got that hovercraft I rolled, got the paddle wheeler over here. Uh, oh yeah, gotta watch out for the gladillos. <laughs> Forgot there was a nest over here. Uh, yeah, and so I came in over here, and then usually I have everything I need to make stuff, but I had uh, I guess a couple of. Uh, I think they used to be called uh, Mark II mechanical parts, but now they're some other thing. I have no idea. Things changed so much since last time. Oh, there's a paddle wheel over there. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this set up. I was all worried about having to get a generator going, and I remembered, oh yes, I have the solar panel. So we'll go ahead and build this. And it's been a while since I've had to do that. So let's have a look at this. So this is just basic, uh, basic solar panel. I thought it was actually going to rotate, but I guess not. Uh, it doesn't say exactly how much exposure it has. It would be nice. But we'll see what that can do in a moment because now we have uh, this. I actually grabbed enough because I wanted to do a test. Uh, uh, this is the water pump. Uh, we'll put one in the water. And then we'll put one up on the ground here and see if we can actually access the water table from here. Alright. So now we've got to place the old switchboard and finish her up. I think this is one of the reasons why I went to a, a creative world instead of a survival world. It just was taking so long to actually build stuff. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Actually, I need containers. Where did I put those things? I did not put them on here. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, they do have conveyor outputs, outputs on them. So you can set them to, up to go to your... Go to containers and eventually go to like greenhouses or even your food and drink machine to make fr fresh water if you don't use a stasis chamber. So this doesn't actually say how much it's producing. So it does have to be facing the actual sun. Because it is connected right now, but it's not generating any power. So let's take this apart and we'll also spin it around. and see if this has something to do with it. Which means... In order for this to be efficient, you would have to have more than one. Ah, and the number tells you it's how much sun coverage it has. So now, now they're running. So this is pulling right out of the ground. But we are pretty close to the water, and the same is going over here. But it's not showing it show up. Do I need to have a container get attached? I haven't used the mining. I don't remember if you got to gray it to collect it or not. This has all changed since last time I've used it. Yeah, let me look into this. Okay, I got it figured out. It can't actually be touching the ground. Um, I try to go in here. I'm at, <laughs> I didn't realize I'm right on the, the lag border. Oh my god, it was like 15, 20 seconds. But it is going now. Uh, what I did is I actually had to open it up at the bottom. Yes, and I'm right on the lag border, as you can see. So that's that's what it is. It has to have. The bottom has to actually be exposed to water, so you have to 
you have to build from the container with conveyors and just drop it down because you can't actually place it on there. But anyways, with that being said, I'm going to get out of this laggy zone. Oh, there it is. And I will see you back at the lab. Alright, so here we are back at the lab. And uh, surprisingly, it's actually less laggy than my survival world. But I've been thinking about our dear friend Spidey here. And I was going to... Thinking about redoing them, and I there's been uh, a few people that have been having issues with these rounded cockpits, and I thought maybe that had something to do with it. So I came in here, uh, apparently after a save and reload, that it would work, and that wasn't the case. So I did a little bit of work, as you can see, and I put quite a few on here. And let's actually go to the back here. Yeah, I gave them a few eyes, but we can actually have a little bit of progress now. Oh, that's not what I want. It using the air blade so I can lift it up. So as you can see, well you can't really see until I get down, but as you can see it's off the ground. All I need to do now is give the legs a little bit more power, because right now they can't actually lift themselves. But you can see the one on the this one right here. It was actually moving. But these hover pads have been nerfed since the last update. So I wanna get out of hover mode here or jetpack up, we'll call it. So I'm going to turn the jetpack on. Decided to use this just, be, just for the hell of it. But I want to... I was thinking about doubling up the hover pads I have on here because three's almost enough to lift it, like on this side here. But I have issues where it's going to clip into this one. So what I'm going to try to do here, and hopefully the leg, leg doesn't fly off into space here, I'm going to take these off. I'm going to put... I'm going to put a block here. Uh, yeah, that should work. And hover pads. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a two side by side. But I have to make sure they're equal distance from that. Not necessarily equal distance, but like one there and... One there should be enough. I can always put a few more blocks in there because right now it's just a matter of lifting this up. Uh, those two shouldn't have a problem at least moving it. It's not like that. There's a lot of resistance. And we'll see how this works out. Oh. That was, that was a bad placement. I had to throw some more batteries on here too. I was going to put another generator, but those things were extremely heavy. And this is what I like about the new switchboards, because once you have everything hooked up to the switchboard, you don't have to go looking around for... Oh, I didn't just do that. Oh, guess what I get to, <laughs> I get to do? So I get to reconnect everything. But, uh, yeah, so instead of looking for what has power and what doesn't, you just go right to the switchboard and you can connect everything. So I got a... I'm actually going to load a save file. Hang on. Okay, let's try this again. As you see, I was trying different methods. I was trying to put counterweights on the back end to see if see if I could get a little bit of help. Uh, also, crane balls, if you're watching, since we have some extra spots on the switchboard, can we put a lock on the disconnect feature? That'd be handy. Thank you. But, let's so now go ahead and do that. And then I have to configure them now. Which one is this set to? So that one's going that way, so... This one's going to go this way. That'll be pretty easy. And... Yeah, this is going to be opposite, right? So that goes in, that comes out. So let's... Let's actually just give it a test quickly. Oh, look at that! That's what I was hoping for. Needs a little bit more power. But I think we're on to something here. If they were spaced a little little more evenly around that point. Which might be doable. I should put a few more blocks would help too. Let me try that. Let's do this. 
and go four. Let's see if we just get a little bit more here. Let's get out of that view. Thank you. That way, this hover pad here has a little more to grab onto. Then I might get some better lift. Yeah. And it's still a little heavy. They have been, I know they have definitely been nerfed. But, I think we're almost there. Again, get out of that view. It's not exactly the best camera angle. Um, if I get a hover pad in here, that would come in handy, but then that's the problem is I don't really have the space for it. But I think it should work out. I am going to set up the other four like that, or the other seven, and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, it's it's all set. I had just about enough power. I had to throw two more batteries on it. Uh, everything is configured. It's a little confusing. I had to double check, make sure I had everything right. So let's hope I do have everything right. So we'll go ahead and turn this down. And first, let's get her up on. Let's get it up on its feet and see if it can take its first steps. Okay. So gentle. Take it easy, you don't want to hurt yourself. It's a little heavy now by the looks of it. Yeah, it's a little heavier. I'm not sure, but I think it's almost moving. Very little. And the other hover pads need a little bit more. Oh, this leg here goes up, but it's going backwards. That should be going the other way around. Uh, let me just double check everything here quickly. Okay, I got it all figured out. I got my left side mixed up. Uh, I had everything backwards as far as rotation and whatnot. But everything's looking promising. So I'm going to take it down from the jack. And let's see what this this bad boy can do. Honestly, if it can move five feet, I'd be happy. <laughs> and yes, when we do get the Steam Workshop uh, going, I will definitely be uploading this one. I know there's somebody in the in the community that would love to see this in their front yard. Anyways, let's go ahead and lift her up. I might need a few more air blades because I've added a few blocks. Well, let's see what we can do here. Nothing. Something stuck. Looks like that front leg. Uh, let's see if we can do the old bobbing technique. Try to get a little more lift. What is going on here? I think I just need a little bit more lift on this. Oh, then that means let's uh, turn that back on, get rid of that, and we'll put that other air blade here that I had before. Uh, I probably have to add another battery too. And let's go ahead and see what we need. Oops. And of course, kills the whole system. Uh, battery, battery, battery. Three. I know, let's make a solar powered, solar powered spider. Only useful during the day. Well, I guess you could. Actually, yeah, I could have to, uh, battery banks. Alright. So now, that's connected. That's probably just the one thing we needed. Alright. Back into the tail. Almost have to, might have to call this a scorpion. We might have to get like a whole collection of different bugs going. See, and this is the problem. <gasps> oh, oh, look at that. We actually started moving. Oh, 
I think a little bit more power on those shoulders and I think we got it because it is slowly moving it I'm impressed let's go see how far the jack is a whole three millimeters right oh look at that it actually moved five feet well I'm gonna have to see what I can do with uh, this section down here I'm running a little uh, tight for space like I'd like to get another hover pad in there somewhere. I might have to redo those stops, move them up top. I need to have these here to stop the legs from bumping into each other and uh, to make sure they don't get too far out of timing. But anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, <laughs> leave me a like. And I'll see you next time in the lab. Later.